I bought Lucy last summer. Uh, she was pregnant at the time and I brought her home. She lived on a, a, a what I call a big dairy. They, they have 500 cows and that's big for some, not big for some others. But uh, she would have gone to an auction up in Vermont that was canceled this year because of the pandemic. And so with a lot of things being what they were, the dairy farm was told they had to cut production. Um, and so they had a few cows for sale. And I bought Lucy, and so she went from living in a barn with, you know, fans and cement floors and pretty much all the modern conveniences a dairy farm has to offer to being here. And, and she was scared of chickens, dogs, cats, pretty much everything. And uh, she's turned out to be a really sweet cow. So uh, one of the things about Lucy that, that I find super super cool is she had her own baby and we had some some calves some day old calves we brought home and she was putting out enough milk for her baby us and two more calves so uh, she turned out being a pretty good mother and and she's a really friendly cow now she was like i said she was skittish and scared of everything but now um, she's turned into a pet and so she's been bred by AI back in September and um, she's due in June. So we bred her to a limousine this time just because I was curious as to what that would produce. Um, like I said before, I, I don't I don't want to do purebreds. I just find that there's too much uh, room for inbreeding and genet genetic um, problems with the purebreds. So while she's a purebred, um, she's doing fine. We're, we're switching to uh, some hybrids. And as you can see here, this is Rosa. And uh, she's one of the adopted calves that Lucy took. And, and Rosa is sired by a, a Hereford, which is a beef cow. And her dam was a, a Jersey. And so you can see she's brindled a little bit. Uh, she has the white face of the Hereford. And uh, I think she'll be a good mother. I got I got her in New Hampshire back uh, maybe in August with another cow, and they were headed for the veal truck that day. And the guy said if I came up and got them, I could get them cheap. So I did. And so she's turned out to be quite the little spunky calf. And so I'm training her to, to lead on a halter. And one of the things she's almost too friendly. Um, I got to keep her from shoving on me because when she gets bigger, that won't be cute anymore. Um, I expect she'll be a good cow, but, but time will tell. So she won't be bred until later on uh, when she's about 18 months old. And like I said, I don't keep a bull here. I do get bull calves, but I castrate them as soon as I can. And so we have these steers. I don't, I don't want a bull here. Um, I just, I don't see the need for it. They're dangerous and especially uh, dairy bulls. You know, the in Jersey's may be the worst. It's almost like Jersey cows are the, the nicest cows per se, and Jersey bulls are the worst bulls. And so I'm not gonna take that chance, especially me with my disabilities and um, my children that are here, and, and I just, I don't, I don't wanna take chances. So we won't be having any bulls here. And so if somebody can tell me if this is good or bad, that she rubs on me a little bit, uh, I'd appreciate to know about that. I, I kind of feel like She's trying to assert some dominance on me. And I do know that cows are herd animals and I don't want her to think that she's higher on the food chain than I am.